Welcome to Transformers fans, my name is Composite Energy, and today I'll be bringing you my reviews, yes, reviews, of the Transformers, uh, Titans Return, Legends Class, Roadburn, and Brawn, and here they are in their vehicle modes. Uh, let's start off with a Roadburn first, and here he is, it's a nice little uh, hatchback looking uh, vehicle. Uh, I don't remember. I don't know what this reminds me of. I think a Honda or something, but I don't. I don't remember the um, uh, the name of the vehicle. It's like a stylized version of a. Uh, I know it's a Honda something. I can't remember now. I was doing a little bit of research, and they, and they wouldn't tell me what this was exactly based on. Um. Yeah, it's really nice. Neat little uh, vehicle mode. Rolls nicely. Got an Autobot symbol there. Nice red coloring. And that's pretty much it. Got nice a bit, nice bits of detail. It looks pretty realistic. It's not bad. It's not too stylized. It's really nice. So that's it. We're a road burn. And let's go on with a uh, brawn. Here he is in his uh, armored jeep mode, which is on well, at least more for brawn here. It, this is an homage to his original G1 counterpart, in which that vehicle was more was sort of loosely based on a uh, uh, on a la on a Toyota Land Cruiser. And that's what the Generation 1 toy was based on, sort of, kind of. And here, here is the uh, modern day, the current generation of uh, Braun. Legends class form in his armored Jeep mode. And it's really neat, and like him, also rolls quite well. Now, because these figures are part of the Titans Return line, they do have some sort of... Um, these two, they have a sort of a gimmick, or I don't want to say gimmick, but a feature that involves the Titan Masters or Headmasters, however you want to call them. And that is that you can actually put uh, Titan Masters slash Headmasters in these vehicles. You can. For uh, Road Burn, it's a little bit finicky to do it. What you're supposed to do is open this up a bit, separate there in the back, lift this up, and hey, look, look at that. You got already a Titan Master in there. Let me pop them out. And yeah, you just stick, you just put a Titan Master in there, in there, and that's how it works. So let's close it back up, and there you go. That's it. It's a bit finicky for my taste, but there you go. And here's the Titan Master that was in there. And let's see if there's anybody in here. For Road, for Brawn, it's even it's actually he does a better job. Do you? All you gotta do is lift this up, and hey, look, there's another one in there. Let me pull him out. Yeah. He's another Titan Master. Huh. I wonder where there's. I wonder who. Those, I wonder who were those guys. I wonder if we're gonna see those two ever again. But yeah, so that's the feature they have with the uh, Titan Master. So let's get on with transformation. Let me go with Brawn first because I have a sort of little warning with um, a road burn here. So for Brawn to transform him first, you gotta come up here, do a little parts forming by removing this. Uh, what will be his uh, shield, his uh, combat shield for his vehicle, his robot mode. And then for transformation, really simple. First, fold out the legs, pop, uh, pop out the heels, and then you come here, and then you come up here and pull down the arms. Whoops, not too hard or else you'll pop off the ball joint. Then rotate forward the arms, and that's it. That is. Brawn in his robot mode. Very simple, very sweet, really nice. And really cool, very G1 accurate. Now comes Road Burn. And for this thing, I might as well just mention now the accessory here. You can um you can plug it back here if you want for storage. But I like to I like to have him uh, have him using it. So on his uh, right arm. Right there. So now he has a shield. A shield, you could also, you could say these are barrels, so it could be a gun. I, I kind of see it as more of a shield slash a knuckle duster. I can imagine him using this to punch the uh, Decepta baddies, Decepta punks, left and right. So there's uh, Braun right there with his uh, battle shield. And now we get to Roadburn. One warning with him, and I'll get to it in a second. Well, no, I have to do it first. For some reason, for some reason... This right here, if you separate the, hold on, let me see if I can separate it. You're supposed to pull this out. Okay, it actually worked this time. Okay. Fold down, fold down. These are his legs. 
uh, fair warning here. For some reason, on, on my version, I don't know if this is just a thing for this uh, version of the figure. Maybe I just got a, a dud that does this, or they all do this. I don't know, but fair warning. For some reason, this there's a, it's very difficult to put this in there and have it connect. It won't do it for some reason. It's really, really stiff, so it's very finicky when trying to do it. And also, if it gets stuck in there trying to pull it off, if you pull out the ball joint, it, it's really difficult to pull it back out. So just be cautious. So uh, caution. Uh, have some. Just be aware of that. That this has a tendency of jamming in there when you push it in. It's also really difficult to pop back out. Uh, like a lot harder than it should be. Well, this one you just fold it in. It does it. Hold on. This one does it no problem. See, it can go in into the vehicle one and then pops out no problem. This one has has a tendency of getting stuck which is a pain to like get removed. So just be aware of that. The right leg might cause you problems, will cause you some uh, headaches. And now for the rest, it's really simple. Do the whole, you basically gotta do the same, well, this popped off because I was uh, putting a lot of strength into uh, making sure that this pull was able to pull this out. So yeah, just uh, separate there to move this down, fold this down and in. Well, not in yet. Fold out will be the arms. Fold up and then fold this hinge here down like so and you peg this into this spot here Rotate the head Rotate arms forward and there is road burn in his vehicle mode Simple transformation if not for this little issue on his right leg, but other than that it's a solid it's a it's a, it's a decent transformation And here they are that's a road burn and Braun very simple, very straightforward transformations. Nothing too complicated. And yeah. So in terms of articulation, um, they basically I think they both they both basically have it have the same amount of articulation, just in different ways. Let me just show that off. Uh, both their heads, eek, there we go. Both their heads can swivel. Albeit bronze a little bit harder to pull off, but he can swivel. Oh. There we go. I might as well get a close up on his uh, head. Very uh, stern, stoic head. Very rounded head, like his G1 counterpart. And here is Roadburn. Very cool. I like Roadburn. I like Roadburn's uh, head sculpt. Looks like he's got a mustache. I know that's not what that is, but that's what it kind of looks like to me. All right. Now, in terms of articulation, like I said, their heads swivel. They got uh, ball joints on the arms, ball joints on the elbows. Uh, go a little bit up and down. Ball joints at the thighs. So it can do really nice kicks. He's got a knee there. Whoops, a little fuzzy. He's got a knee there. And another in here. So he's got a little up and down at the foot. So Roburn has slightly more articulation. And then you have uh, Braun here, which same amount. Got up and down at the, uh, the shoulder. Ball joints. Ball joints. Ball joint there. He can do a really nice kick. Got a knee, but he doesn't have foot. He's just got a little bit of heel. If you really wanna, if you really wanna consider that articulation, and that's about it. Granted, he doesn't come. He has one extra point of articulation, but he comes with an accessory, which is this shield, which is pretty cool. Uh, out of the two of these, I think I like Braun a little bit more. Even though I think I like a Road Burns head sculpt more. But in terms of the design of the figure, Road uh, Bronze a little bit better in my opinion. And then Roadburn here, pretty cool, not bad. I can imagine that these little spikes here are like guns, but that's just uh, me. So yeah. yeah, they're both really neat, nice, neat little figures. Uh, do I recommend them eh, if you want them? I think I recommend Braun a little bit more because oh, one extra. Um, I guess because an extra little fun fact about Braun is that his mold is unique because a Roadburn here is actually a repaint slash slight retool. Of the uh, Titans Return uh, Legends class Bumblebee, so yeah, his uh, the 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 wave before the one that Roadburn came in, uh, they had a Bumblebee, and that Bumblebee was repainted into Roadburn. Um, I'm kind of surprised the I'm kind of surprised they chose Roadburn and not just repaint him into Cliff Jumper, who's your who's the sort of a go-to repaint of Bumble a red repaint of Bumblebee. So good on him to bring back a, an older character, because uh, um, little known fact. Well, I don't know how little known this is, but uh, I looked into it. Roadburn is actually was one of the old throttle bots. 
So it's neat that they brought back the, that they uh, brought in uh, Roadburn instead of going the easy way and just making him Cliff Jumper. That's it. Shock of all shocks. This isn't Cliff Jumper. A repaint of Bumblebee. That's not Cliff Jumper. So that aside, um, yeah, nothing else to really say. The figures are nice, simple, not too complicated. Just like I said, word of warning with this one: caution. Be cautious about this one and his right leg, which will get jammed, and it and it it is a pain to transform. That aside, they're both really nice, solid figures. I personally like Braun a little bit better, even though I think I even though I like a Roadburn's head sculpt more. And yeah, that's it. Nothing else to really say here. So yeah, uh, this has been my reviews of the Transformers Titan Returns um, Legend uh, Legend Class Legends Class Brawn and Roadburn. This is Composite Energo signing off. Peace out.